Uh, hey, we are back to the artifacts of marvelous birds. As I said, I uh, got myself back to the point where I can do this stage, and I even have nice power-ups. However, I'm extremely out of practice. I only have six lives, so I think I'm going to do something called farming for lives. I know the first stage has like a free one-up, basically, somewhere near the beginning. And I'll probably grab some egg coins if I stumble upon them just for some free 10 coins to help out the whole process. Oh man, doing these uh, secret exits over here really, really helps uh, travel with having to go to more pipes or anything. But yeah, I'm very scared of bees right now. And I'm going to need lives in order to actually <laughs> maybe one day be able to tackle that. I don't know. So get ready for this stage a whole bunch. <laughs> I also wonder if I could just get a, <laughs> a cape and cheese the whole level. <laughs> if it gets to it, I mean, I might. <laughs> oh no, I did not expect you to just respawn like that. Here is where my free one up is. It's not the quickest life, life farm, and I really didn't check to see if there were quicker ways to get lives. There are usually some way to get lives uh, easily in a lot of hacks. Or just Mario in general, honestly. <laughs> Silly head. <laughs> I think I'm probably just gonna go with like maybe 20 lives. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit of a chore to do this, but whatever. Yeah, the eight coins really do help you get coins a whole lot faster. It's nice having <laughs> a reserve power up because I'm only getting a hit like once, so uh, I can just keep getting it back. But also. Whenever it comes down to actual bees, I am not going to be able to grab that reserve power up whenever I do get hit. <laughs> if I do get hit, because, you know, I'm probably a perfect individual who can get through that stage without, you know, any troubles whatsoever. I'm actually hoping that I can do a little bit better on that stage than I did previously since I have... I think I have mentioned that I was recently playing uh, Donkey Kong Country games, and those have like minecart sections and other sort of auto scrollers that... Oops. Nice, nice. <laughs> Amazing. You know, have, mostly rely on reflexes and learning patterns so that you can actually know uh, how to effectively get to the stage without getting hit and stuff like that. Of 
course, there is a little bit of leeway in there, and uh, recovering in this game from the bees is not impossible, but I don't think it looks very easy at all. Um, but on top of that, I have... Ugh, oh my gosh, I, I kind of hate that hill. <laughs> if I want to do a spin jump, I should just not spin jump there. Um, I have touched uh, another kind of ROM hack. I've done some additional stages that were actually really hard in Super Mario World, uh, ROM hacking world. And the only difference is that, you know, me getting through those was I actually had, like, a stage that I could just go to for easy life farming, and I had, like, all the lives in the world. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's... It's like over here, whenever I jump, it just steals me sometimes. <laughs> it just grabs that Mario. That funny hill. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was almost embarrassing. I mean, it still is embarrassing, but it was almost really bad. But yeah, um, what I'm hoping is that, you know, maybe I have gotten better, but I doubt it. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens when we get to the bees. Just give me three more lives, and I'll feel fairly comfortable. I am to a coin life. Ooh. Might be able to get done farming right here, right now. So I hope this is enough. It probably isn't. <laughs> I mean... We'll have to see. It just the bees really scare me, and I've really got to be going fast. Also, again, I have not touched this game in a, quite a bit. <laughs> At least a week, probably closer to two, question marks. I don't know. So we'll have to see. If I can de-rustify myself and figure out the stage with the lives I've gotten. I should have entered here. I could have done the other pipe and gotten close, right? Maybe? No, that is the pipe I wanted to take. Where's the other pipe go? Alright, flee from bees. <laughs> Let's get ready to die. Again, I won't be able to get that reserve power up, so I'm going to have to learn this stage small. Run, Mario. <laughs> That's the dream. Nice. 
I do really, really want that uh, power up on me. I am going to enter a, <laughs> a previous stage just to apply the power up or something. I couldn't re-enter that stage because I think that's one of the auto-scrolling stages or something. Also, are there any close by power ups so I can have a reserve? I mean, I'll take that. It's something. I'll be happy with that. All I'm looking for really is the additional hit. Which, again, if I get hit by something and don't fall in a pit, then I lose both. Well, <laughs> I did not lose both. What does this stage have for me in terms of nearby power-ups? That's very fast. Also coins. And that's the stage I can go back to and get a feather if I really want to cheese this. And, you know, I might might have to at some point. We'll see. Cost both, and I decided to just, you know, get... I'm happy that this stage makes it very easy for me to get repowered up and an A coin. One tenth of a life is nothing to scoff at. trying to skip the text. No! <laughs> I did, you did hear me, I tried to jump. <laughs> And I did press left so I can slow down my momentum, but it was way too late. Ah, oh, dang it. You know, getting a reserve really isn't that big of a deal, since I have to, like, go to a different stage to apply it. I might as well be getting just only one mushroom and just being satisfied with being big. Sadness forever. <laughs> I wonder how ahead I was of the bees. Like, it was really doing pretty dang okay, actually. Also, I'm going in without power up because I'm smart. <laughs> that was kind of sad. to another life, I might as well just enter here again and get that egg coin. Thank you.
I wonder if the bees have despawned. Not bad of a stage, considering the bees were not as much of an issue as I thought. Man, this guy is following me like like freaking crazy. I love him. What a friend. Wasn't so bad. Can I do Arroyo Tower though? Oh, that's that's gonna be hard. <laughs> Probably. Maybe not. Let me get powered up again. <laughs> I'm surprised at how actually not bad that was. I was frightened and it wasn't the worst in the world. Might just get one more life in here, and there's plenty of coins, and on the way I can get a fire flower or something for the castle. I've done it. I've those bees. I let them get the best of me. Is this the second reality project music? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if it's the first or second one. I forget, but. Forget this. A lot of these songs sound extremely familiar to me. Uh, attention! This castle seems like a giant tower from outside. You need to flood this air. Oh, cool! This area in order to reach the upper platforms. Aha! Oh, dang it! What's up with this coin? <laughs> I like how there's just a little cache of coins over there for, like, rather no reason whatsoever. These coins are extremely weirding me out. Oh my gosh. No! <laughs> I lost it immediately. I wanted that just so I could get rid of this guy. But that'll do. for this, it doesn't seem like. Oh! Dang it! <laughs> oh, I'm glad that lightning still strikes even when Mario has perished. the struggles in terms of uh, existing, half existing, partial existence. Yeah, look at those freaking coins. to rise in order to get up that hole, I'm guessing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's also an egg coin down there. Oh! wonder how I can get down there. I saw the dude. I didn't notice the egg coin last time, but I saw the dude, and I was like, I wonder what that's all about. I wonder if I need to have water in order to reach that zone.
Oh. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> being silly. Decent amount of roto discs in the, uh, this castle. I really appreciate those enemies, honestly. <laughs> They're such a simple enemy, but they really work. <laughs> yeah, easy. Easy 10 coins. Not that I can easily replicate this. <laughs> to start bouncing on the dude specifically right there, but it is something. at all on this stage. It's mostly roto discs and an occasional chuck. or if I just took this lower path for no reason, but let's go. Again, the fire flower is not proving to be useful against anything in here. interesting that there are like upper and lower paths that are seemingly just like choice like whatever you want to take <laughs> there is like no benefit to one over the other in case I didn't get any of the coins. That double layer requires me to use the, the P-Switch and get at least some coins from the first bit. Attention! Flood the area only at <laughs> an emergency. Okay. Well, I think that was flooding it. Because truly this is an emergency. Um, I don't know what's in this castle, but it is a castle, and we know how Mario handles castles. I kind of want to go left first. See if there's anything over to the left. No? Okay. Well, it's still cool.
switch. Well, let's go over here. This is familiar territory. Oh, jeez. Only through one, why? Ah, there is a P switch. And there's my death. But hey, I got the midpoint, which is really close to flooding the place. from this no it's there's a wall thank you <laughs> I wonder if I reset if uh gives me a good opportunity like to grab it before those guys oh dang not particularly can they reach yeah they, one of them actually absolutely can reach up there came back because I wanted to say hello. Only at emergency. Press it. Nice. Oh, and I don't have fire flowers. Yeah, there actually is the good use of fire flower that I totally ignored. Is the uh, those guys? I thought there's many of them, but there's enough of them where it's like, man, I guess I really should have paid attention. Also, I like how the bottom is devoid of any of the goodies now. You can see like a lot of the things that used to be question mark blocks have been expended, even though I'm pretty sure it's not actually saving. It doesn't have a way to actually remember that I did that. It just... This is a nearly identical room, but it actually is slightly different in that it just pre-expends all that stuff so that it looks like I have been through the bottom half before, which is nice. Down. Throw your stuff. Both of your socks. Nice. Oh, I can't reach that. this. <laughs> I like this. This is a neat section. Except when I do dumb stuff like that. There had to have been some stuff over to the left, right? There's a whole another section to the left. I like how the music is still going fast, even though uh, going through that transition oh uh, has <laughs> refreshed my time. Hmm. Do your business and do your second business. Nice. 
this. Nice, I need that. Well, whenever I die, there's a opportunity for a better power up. <laughs> that was all on purpose so I can get the better power up. Let's go. Nice, better power up. Oh, what are you? I do not know. Oh, dang. I can kind of force him down whenever I go below him, but it is something. <laughs> this is a boss. This is not a vanilla boss, nor is it funny enemies that have been buffed up to be fireproof and additional hits. Oh, my, my bad, dude. maybe do want fireballs just to clear out a little bit of the mess that becomes the bottom floor from time to time. Just slight clearing up. There it is. It's almost like a survival, but there is like a certain finesse to it where you actually do have to be <laughs> going down. Like he does chase you. In oh, there, there's the good squat. Thank you for carrying your, your bit of air or nothingness, Mario. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I love Mario World. Look at those gross freaking graphics right there. What is happening? The danger Bowser and his minions produced can be sent- Uh oh, the song's going strange again. Oh jeez. <laughs> Help. <laughs> can be sensed everywhere. What does he know about the artifacts and how can he use them for his dark plannings? <laughs> good, good. Oh, oh, okay. Broke the waterfall. <laughs> Absolutely continue and save. Please and thank you. But yeah, the finessing of that boss was interesting because there is no surviving if you stay swimming for very long. You have to drop and sometimes it's kind of scary to find a spot to drop or sometimes it's like almost like very difficult because whenever you want to drop somewhere you might land on a dude and bounce on him and stay I want to say airborne but like waterborne you just stay in the above the ground level and it's it's something but i think 
as long as you are grounded, the dude does go down. So, like, even when I was, like, on a little bit of a ledge over on the right side, he went all the way down, which was really nice. But, yeah, it was an interesting boss. It was something new, something unique, and I liked it. Next time, uh, we're going to be doing stuff with the military forces, question mark. Nice.